Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. This is going to be an exciting series that I'm starting again. Uh, that would be essentially learning, exploring Kubernetes, right? So assuming you have zero knowledge on Kubernetes, I'm going to go right from scratch on Kubernetes. Uh, we essentially, this course will be divided into multiple parts. That is first part is essentially theory, then installation, then hands-on lab. And then we move to AWS, we'll do auto scaling, then multi-AZ um, architectures and all these amazing cool stuff you're gonna be, be, uh, be doing, right? But as I said, we'll go slow, we'll go easy. And assuming, uh, you know, beginners are also wanna, or also wanna pace up, right? So uh, join me in this series on learning Kubernetes. So let me share my screen and we will begin with the first session, okay? That is the theory part. So if you guys are watching me for the first time, hey guys, my name is Saumil Shah and essentially I, I, I completed my bachelor's in electronic engineering and a double master's in electrical and computer engineering. I currently work as a, a software engineer, right? Uh, so let's get started with the uh, Kubernetes, right? A little prerequisite, you know, a, a knowledge about Docker and container is good to have and a general understanding about deployment and networking is also uh, required for uh, the course. All right, so uh, when somebody asks you a question, right? Hey, Sawmill, what are the key benefits of a container? Why should I you know, go for a container instead of EC2? You wanna say, right, accelerate, developer, uh, and these are all screenshot taken from LinkedIn and other websites and blogs, okay? Um, so you wanna say, right, you know, accelerate, developer, onboarding, eliminate app conflicts, environment consistency, and ship software faster, right? These are the key benefits, right? Uh, now, the key Kubernetes benefits are, you know, we wanna orchestrate those containers, right? We wanna uh, have a zero downtime deployment, right? So automatically, uh, you know, anything fails, you wanna roll back quickly, very fast. Self-healing superpowers, right? So when a pod fails and it's unhealthy, we wanna remove and start a new pod. Uh, scale the containers, we wanna scale it massively, right? That's one of the goals as well. Uh, developer use cases are several. Of course, you can see on the slide. Uh, move from Docker Compose to Kubernetes, emulate production locally. Uh, Kubernetes is, is really amazing, right? There are several use cases. Uh, you know, Kubernetes containers and is, is essentially a cluster management, open source project used internally by Google for 15 years, and then they donated this to Cloud Computing Foundation. It supports all the major cloud platform, provides a declarative way to define your cluster state, right? This was essentially developed by Google and it was they, they essentially then donated that to cloud, nating, uh, cloud Native Computing Foundation. Kubernetes is a conductor of a container orchestra. Uh, if you had to think about this, uh, we could think of this as, you know, the key benefits of Kubernetes is service discovery, load balancing, uh, storage orchestration, automate rollouts and rollback, self-healing, secret configuration management, horizontal scaling, right? So, and as I said, these are all our slides I've taken from LinkedIn Learning. So if you want, uh, go, you can, you can learn more about that. But remember, I gather information from various sources and I present to my audience in a nice condensed way, okay? So these are like, these are, think of this as um, uh, conductors, right? So these are, you know, somebody's playing a violin, somebody's playing, uh, you know, like a, like a drum or whatever that instrument is. Think of those as a container. You have different, different containers and you need a conductor who orchestrates them, right? He says at which node you should, you know, what, what to play, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. So this essentially guy acts as a conductor, right? He's, 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 he's essentially orchestrating all these containers, right? Or the people, right? So the key Kubernetes features are, you know, uh, we, we just went through that, right? So now let's take the big picture here, right? So, so the terms we used is basically we have a master and then you have nodes, right? Uh, you have in a cluster, you have a master and you have a nodes, right? So now remember each node can have a pod. We use the word pod here, right? So each node has a pod and each pod can have a container. So pod has a container, right? Essentially. Now think of a pod as a, as a suit, right? Uh, when you, uh, this is a guy, uh, a space suit, right? Inside the space suit is the person, right? He's the container, outside is the pod who's, you know, uh, interacting and undoing all that stuff, right? So that's how you could uh, visualize or think about this as, right? Kubernetes building blocks could be a pod, right? Each pod has a container, then you have a service, and then you have a deployment and a replica set, right? And then each pod, so no, no, let's understand a node. A node can have several pods, right? 
it can have um, one pod two pod three pod four pods each pod can have one container right so you can see each pod is having a container right uh, so the way uh, as you can see right uh, the, the the control manager is basically when a request comes uh, request comes in and the manager needs to act upon it right so a request comes in you know uh, through uh, through the master and then the master will delegate essentially to their nodes and 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 and, and, and etc right so each node uh, communicates with the master via cube uh, by 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 a, by a cubelet right as you can see a small uh, diagram that shows that right now i actually want to do some hands on session this was uh, more towards theory right i want to do hands on session where i will essentially be covering uh, you know some syntax we we essentially write some code uh, we'll write our very simple hello world flask app and then we are going to scale it insanely using uh, kubernetes locally so we're going to emulate a production ready environment we'll have a replica set uh, and, and you know we, we will have uh, multiple copies of our um, web uh, of our uh, api and all this stuff we're going to learn and as i said right all the slides that you see, uh, there are screenshots that have been taken from YouTube videos, LinkedIn Learning, Turul side. Uh, so uh, you know, I'm just letting you know now, right? So 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 yeah. But um, yeah, as we as we go down the course, you know, we'll have a lot of stuff uh, uh, coming up here. We'll understand the theory aspect. Once we do get the theory aspect properly, then we will dive into projects and then AWS. Okay. So I'll I'll conclude it here. This is essentially step number one or series number one. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the part two.